Hello all, welcome back to Fably Connect. So in this video, we are going to understand how to send WhatsApp message for monthly subscription reminder from Google Sheets. So do you also wish to send monthly subscription reminders to all of your customers? Then this video is definitely for you. So over here, I want the same. So I'm running a fitness center and for that, I want to create this automation. So what I want is that at the end of each month, I want to look in my spreadsheet and check for the members whose payment is due. And then I want to send automated reminders to all those members whose payment is due. So for this, we are going to create a connection between Schedule by Pabli, Google Sheets and WhatsApp by ASNC. To create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language, we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So do you also wish to learn this process step by step? Then let me take you to my computer screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know, in this video, we are going to understand how to send WhatsApp message for monthly subscription reminder from Google Sheets. So as you know, that I manage a fitness center that offers monthly membership subscriptions and keeping a track of upcoming renewals manually is overwhelming. So to streamline this process, I want to implement an automation that first checks which client have the payment due by the end of each month. Then the system sends them a personalized WhatsApp reminder informing them about their upcoming coming subscription renewal. So this ensures that every client stays informed and can renew their membership on time without the need of manual follow up. This automation not only saves the valuable time but also improves the client satisfaction and retention by offering a proactive and seamless renewal experience. So to do all of this we have simply opened the landing page of Pabli by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as we're going to open the landing page of Pabli we are going to get to options one is sign in and the another one is sign up for free so if you're a new user you can click on sign up for free and you're going to get 100 of tasks free every month to explore the application but over here i'm an existing user so i'm going to click on sign in and as soon as we are going to click on sign in it is opening all pabli apps over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by pabli but in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting different applications. So I'm going to click on Access Now right over here to access my Pabli Connects account. And as soon as we are going to click on Access Now, it is opening my dashboard. And to start with this automation, we are going to click on this button which says Create Workflow. And now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So over here, I want to save the workflow in this folder with this automation. And on my dashboard, you can see multiple folders that I have previously created to save my workflows in. And if you wish to learn how to create a new folder or a subfolder, you can click on this hyperlink given right over here which says learn more. And now it is asking me for the workflow name. So I want the workflow name to be send WhatsApp message for monthly subscription reminder from Google Sheets. And then we are going to click on create. And as soon as we are going to click on create, it is opening the most important window of our automation, which is our workflow window. So this is the most important window because we have trigger an action in this. Trigger means when this happens, an action means do this. So by this you can understand that the triggers the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands and as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers. So over here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger and by this you can finally understand that the actions are response towards the command given by our trigger and in order to start with our automation we have to select our trigger application. So for my trigger application I'm going to select it as schedule because what I want is I want to schedule this workflow for each end of the month so for that i'm going to look for schedule over here and as you can see schedule by pabli so we are going to select it it is a feature by pabli which helps you to schedule your workflow and now what i want is i want to schedule this workflow so for the trigger event we are going to select the same and now it is saying how often do you want to run your workflow so over here i want to run this workflow each month at the end of the month right so for that we have selected dates of the month and now it is asking me for the date on which date do you want to run this workflow so over here, I want to run this workflow on 28th of each month. So I've selected the same as my date and now it is asking me for the time. So let's suppose that I'm going to keep the time as 12 right over here. So I'm going to select it. And after selecting the date and the time, we are going to click on save. And as soon as we are going to click on save, yes, you can see that we have successfully scheduled this workflow for the 28th of each month. And this is the time. So now after scheduling this workflow, we are going to move on forward. We are going to select our action step. So now for my action application, I'm 
longing to select it as Google Sheets because I want to extract the data of my customers from my Google Sheets who have not paid the subscription fees yet. So over here, I want to extract the details of those. For that, we are going to select the action application as Google Sheets right over here. And as you can see the same, so we are going to select it. And now for the action event, we are going to select it as lookup. So I'm going to look for lookup right over here. And as you can see, lookup spreadsheet rows V2. So we are going to select the same and click on connect. And as soon as we are going to click on connect, it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection. So if you have already connected your Google Sheets account with your Pabli's workflow, you can click on select existing connection and then save. But if you haven't, you have to follow me, click on add a new connection. And then we are going to click on sign in with Google. And as soon as we are going to click on sign in with Google right over here, it is asking me to select my Gmail account. So I'm going to select my Gmail account. And after selecting my Gmail account, it is asking me for some permissions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on allow and give Pabli all the permissions it is asking for because my data is secure with Pabli. You can also click on allow Pabli save and as soon as we are going to click on allow yes you can see authorization successful. So this means that we have successfully connected our Google Sheets account with our Pabli's workflow and now it is asking me to select the spreadsheet. So here you can see the name of my spreadsheet is details. So we are going to select the same right over here which is details and as soon as we are going to select the spreadsheet it is asking me to select the sheet okay. So here you can see that I have only a single sheet in my spreadsheet so we are going to select the same right over here. You have to keep in mind that you have to select the spreadsheet and the sheet you want to create this automation for. So we are going to move on forward. It is asking me for the lookup value. So it is saying enter the value to be searched in the column here. So I want to be searched this due which is the payment status should be due. I want to extract the details of those customers only right. So for the lookup value I am going to keep it as due right over here. You can keep the lookup value as you desired. We are going to move on forward. It is asking me for the lookup columns. So over here I am going to enter the lookup column as F because I want to look for that in F only. So that's why for the lookup column, I'm going to keep it as F. You have to enter your desired column, okay? And now it is asking me for the end column of the data. Again, we are going to keep it as F only right over here. And we are going to move on forward. It is saying lookup as date. So no, it is not a date. So we are going to keep it as no only. It is saying use sheet headers as key in response. We are going to keep it as yes. It is saying sort rows. We are going to keep it as top. And now after doing all of this, what we have to do is over here, you can see the button of simple response. So we just have to switch off this button so that we can receive the response in the advanced format. So you must be wondering why I have done this and I'll let you know this in the video further. So now after switching this off, we are going to click on save and send test request and as soon as we are going to click on save and send test request button right over here, yes you can see that we have received the response of all the customers whose payment status was due. Over here you can see the first name smart, last name, over here you can see the user, you can see the email and over here you can see not only for the one but for all the customers whose payment status was due, we have received the response for all of them. So now after receiving this response, we have successfully completed this action step. And now we are going to move on forward. We are going to add another action step right over here. And now for my action application, I'm going to select it as iterator. So you must be wondering what is iterator. So iterator iterates or loops through all the rows one by one and executes all the below action multiple times based on the number of items in the whole row data. It is array. So over here in my Google Sheets response, I have received an array, right? So that's why I've kept the response as advanced response because I wanted to execute this one by one. That's why we are going to add iterator right over here too. So I'm going to look for iterator and as you can see the same, so we are going to select it. And now for the action event, we are going to select it as process arrays. And then we are going to click on connect again. And now it is asking me to select the array. So over here we are going to select the array. Over here you can see the Google Sheet response, response results. We are going to select our array as this only and then we are going to click on save and send us request and as soon as we're going to do so yes you can see that we have successfully received the simple response right over here you can see that we have received the details of the customer whose payment status was due and you can notice that this is the first customer whose payment status was due right over here in our spreadsheet so now after receiving this response we're not going to only create this automation for this customer but iterator will execute all the below action multiple times based on the number of items in the whole data so here let's suppose that for me the due data was this much. So iterator will send an automated WhatsApp message 
charge multiple time based on the number of the items so yes after receiving this response we have successfully completed this iterator step two and we have successfully received the response in simple format so that we can map it further so we're going to move on further we are going to add another action step right over here and now for my action application we are going to select it as ai sensi so i'm going to use ai sensi to send automated whatsapp messages you can use any another application like vati and if you wish you can definitely use whatsapp cloud api to probably supports them all so as you can see that i've searched for it and then you're going to select it right over here and now for the action event we are going to select it as send template message so you must be wondering why i'm doing this because i want to send an automated whatsapp reminder right to all my clients whose payment status is due for that i'm going to only use this action step and then we are going to click on connect and as soon as we are going to click on connect again it is asking me for the same so if you have already connected your whatsapp by asnc account with your pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you have and you have to again follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the api key and to get this api key we are going to follow the help text and it is saying log into your asnc account navigate to the manage section then go to the api key and click on generate api key button so yes we are going to follow the same i'm going to open my asnc account and as you can see that this is my asnc account so now what we are going to do is i'm going to go on the left side bar you can see manage so you are going to follow it i'm going to go on manage again over here you can see api key so i'm going to click on this api key and as we are going to come over here yes you can see over here is my api key so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this api key and then we're going to paste it right over here in our workflow so i've already generated this api key and we're going to get the button of generate api key right over here only with which you can generate your api key and then you have to copy that api key and paste it right over here okay and now after doing it we are going to click on save and as soon as we are going to click on save yes you can see that we have successfully connected our whatsapp by asnc account with our pabli's workflow and now it is asking me for the campaign name so in the help text it is saying enter the campaign name that has to be sent to the user this is to be noted that the status of the campaign should be live so to let you know more about this campaign name i'm going to open my asnc account again and as you can see again this is my asnc account so now from the left side of the bar we are going to go on campaigns and as you can see over here are multiple campaigns that i have previously created so we're going to use one from this only but i'm just going to let you know we are going to go and manage first and over here you can see all the template message templates which i've created right so so over here, I'm going to use one template from this only, which I've created to send reminders to my customer. So I'm going to use one from this only, which is this Fit Up Wellness. As you can see that this is my template, which I've created. So if you wish to create a new template, you can click on this new button right over here and create your own. And now what I've done is I have created a campaign with the help of this template only. I'm going to open the campaign first right from here. We're going to look for it. And as you can see, Fit Up Test. So I've already created this campaign with the same template. As you can notice that this is the same template. You can also see the template name right over here so yes i've already created this campaign and as you can see that this is my campaign name but if you wish to create a new campaign you are going to click on this launch button right over here you're going to go on this api campaign and click on next and over here you can give your campaign a name and then you are going to select the template which you have created for the same campaign and after doing all of this you are going to click on set live i've already created one so i'm going to use the same only which is fit up test so i'm going to copy the campaign name right from here and then we're going to paste it right over here in our workflow and after pasting the campaign name we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the mobile number so right over here we are going to enter the mobile number of a customer who i want to send the reminder to so over here we are not going to enter the mobile number manually but instead we are going to map it so you must be wondering what is mapping so mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you can see that these were our previous step where we have selected google sheets iterator and schedule as our previous steps so yes we are going to map the details from the response of these steps only and as soon as we are going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received so i'm going to give you an example that it is asking me for the mobile number right so let's suppose that we are going to enter the mobile number right over here manually by typing it like this then this will not change with every new response received because this is a static information and i've entered it manually but if we are going to map this from the previous response suppose you can see that we are going to open the response of our iterator and as you can see the phone number so let's suppose that we're going to map this from the previous response then this will definitely change because my previous response will also change so that's why we do mapping right over here to run our workflow in real time so as you can see that i've mapped this mobile number so this will definitely change now so we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the username and in the help text it is saying enter the name of the user to whom the campaign has to be sent so we're going to enter the name of our customer right over here for that i'm going to look for name in the previous response and as you can see smart you're going to put a space and then user we're going to map the first name and then the last name we're going to move on forward it is asking me for the source and tags so if you wish 
you can definitely add these right over here but i don't wish to add so because this are not the required details it is asking me for the template parameter so yes this is a very important information and i'm going to let you know this i'm going to open my asnc account and as you can see that i've already let it you know that this is the campaign which i've created and this is the template which i've created for sending whatsapp reminders so as you can so notice that in this template i have one and two in curly brackets so you must be wondering why i've kept this one and two in curly brackets right over here because these are variables right over here in my template so what will happen is that as soon as a new whatsapp message is sent these one and two will be replaced so now what i want is that this one should be replaced with the name of my customer and this two should be replaced with the membership type of my customer so i'm going to do all of this so that i can send more personalized whatsapp messages to all my customer and build a good connection that's why i've added these two variables right over here and now we are going to map the value of these variables in our workflow so it is asking me for the template parameter so let's suppose that first we are going to map the one which is the variable number one which is the name of our lead so over here i'm going to map it i'm going to look for name again in the previous response and as you can see smart users we are going to map it and after mapping this we have to map the second also right over here okay so you can see that in the help text it is saying the parameter value should be comma separated so i'm going to put a comma right over here and then we are going to map the second variable value so for the second variable value it is the membership type so here you can see the membership type is premium so we are going to map it and after mapping both of this we're going to move on forward it is asking me for the attributes and the url so if you wish you can definitely enter the file name url and attributes but these are not the required fields so i'm going to leave it as blank and directly we are going to click on save and send test request but before clicking on the save and send test request i'll just let you know that i'll just replace this dummy phone number with my original phone number so that i can show you the message and the response received so over here i'm going to replace the number first and after replacing this number we are going to move on forward and click on save and send test request and as soon as we are going to click on save and send test request yes you can see success true so yes you can see that we have received a positive response that we have successfully sent an automated whatsapp message to our customer about the reminder so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my whatsapp account and check for the message received and yes you can see that we have successfully received an automated whatsapp message which says hi smart user just a quick reminder that your premium subscription with fit hub wellness is up for renewal soon we'd love to keep you supporting on your fitness journey to continue enjoying access to our exclusive workouts classes and personalized coaching please renew your subscription before the due date if you need any help or have any questions do not hesitate to reach out to us we are here to assist you stay fit and healthy the fit hub wellness team so yes you can see that we have successfully sent this automated whatsapp message and also you can see the details which we mapped right over here so now after doing all of this we have successfully completed our workflow and i'll just summarize this workflow for you once so for the trigger application we selected schedule by pably because what i wanted is that at the end of each month which is the 28th of each month i want to schedule this workflow so that i can send whatsapp reminders to all of my customers at the end of each month so that's why i've selected the trigger as schedule for the action applications we selected google sheets iterator and whatsapp by asnc again because i wanted to send an automated whatsapp reminder and yes we were successful with our workflow too over here you can see the reminder which we sent to our customer with the help of our workflow and not only to this one customer because we have added iterator in our workflow so each 20th of the month pably is going to send an automated whatsapp message to all the ones whose payment is due and yes this automation ensures that every client stays informed and can renew their membership ship on time without the need of man will follow up this automation not only saves my valuable time but also improves the client satisfaction and retention by offering a proactive and seamless renewal experience so yes this was it for the video and if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just clone this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but with the help of pably you can integrate many more applications so now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support at the read pably.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pably.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching